If I have seen further than others, it's by standing on the shoulders of giants. What a great quote by Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton is the founder of the theory of gravity. And here we also go directly to the problem. There are some people that don't believe in gravity. There are some people that truly believe that the world is flat. And there are even people that stare at the sun for hours on end. Write anything that you had an unproductive day. Just remember, there are people staring at the sun in their free time. There was this story about this 17-year-old girl that watched the solar eclipse on speed for 30 minutes straight. The doctors reported damages in their eyesight that lasted for over a year. And this was during a solar eclipse, the time when the moon blocks nearly all the sun rays from coming to Earth. Mistakes are meant for learning, not repeating. Staring at the sun is bad for your eye health. The UV light can lead to inflammation of the tissue around your eye or to an atrial cataract. I think there are about 1000 studies confirming that. And last time I checked, I didn't live in North Korea. And chances are high, you aren't living there too. Thanks to the internet, these studies can be assessed within a minute by everyone. The problem is therefore not the ability to get the knowledge, but the willingness to accept it. The internet didn't spread scientific thinking. It made it easier for people with weird worldviews to find others that are like them. This anti-scientific thinking of the population nowadays is dangerous and scary, to be honest. If you don't believe in science, you're egocentric and stubborn. You're telling me that you don't value thousands of years of experience of other humans. Of course, it's good to question everything because people lie. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Niemand hat die Absicht, eine Maut zu but too much critical thinking can ruin your life. Ask yourself, are the benefits worth the risk? Sun gazing can lead to eye damage with literally no benefits that are known to me. It will not only destroy your eyes, it will also make you look like an idiot, to be honest, in front of your friends. But who am I to judge if I haven't even tried it? But the only place I feel comfortable of doing so is far, far away from my safe home in the middle of a crowd on the late afternoon. Excuse my head, sir. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? This brings me to the last question. How to think critically without being too critical? First, you have to ask yourself, where does the information come from? Is the person telling you the information actually certified and can give you a professional opinion. I might say something that shocks you now, but most people on YouTube are not certified. I'm not an eye doctor too, but I read studies from people that are. Therefore, the second question should be, is this information that the person is giving me actually professional and scientific? Has the person actually took some time out and read some studies or are all her informations based on her subjective worldview and experiences. The videos of sun gazing on YouTube <laughs> are nearly 100% based on the subjective experience of an individual. Therefore, not legit. I don't get into all for this shit. <laughs> the last question should be, what are the hidden motivations of the person? I, for example, I just uploaded a 16 page free ebook on my website that you can download by clicking the link down in the description. But there's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. I expect people to really like my work and therefore be more than happy to sign up for my paid coaching plans. I'm completely honest with you. These are my now not so hidden motivations. Ask yourself now, why is this person giving me the information. Try to look with the eyes of the other people. But when you're looking with the eyes of the other people, 
Just do them a favor and don't freaking stare at the sun. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit, guys. Thank you.